Welcome back to The Vocalist. This one has been highly requested. So today I am finally hearing the singer Luis Miguel and the song is La Incondicional. Here we go. Misma siempre tú, amistad, ternura que sé yo, tú, mis horas bajas, tú, un cuerpo de mujer, un par de rosas blancas, no existe un lazo entre tú y yo. I'm gonna pause. We're two minutes in. This is seven minutes long. I have a feeling, oh golly, I don't know. I feel like he's gonna do something kind of extreme because from what I'm hearing, everything sounds so easy and so effortless. Um, there are a couple of vocal things I wanna point out. So we're gonna go back. Um, golly, what a gorgeous tone he started with. It was so warm. It sounded a little bit like the root of his tongue was a little bit higher in the mouth and that his soft palate was not super high. So they were, I don't know that they were touching, but there was just sort of this muted quality he was giving us at the very beginning, which was so gorgeous. Um, okay, here we go. La misma siempre tú, amistad, ternura que sé yo. He has that gorgeous down and back position with his jaw so frequently. There was one clip where I think I can pause and point it out because it was just perfect. Perfection. But yeah, it's just this gorgeous warm sound. I feel like he's still utilizing some nasal resonance um, mm, It's just there's so much color in the sound already Which is why I'm thinking a lot of things are gonna happen when we have you know five more minutes after the point that I got to tú, mis horas bajas, tú, un cuerpo de mujer Par de rosas blancas, no existe un lazo entre tú y yo. No There, oh my goodness, look at that gorgeous jaw position. Uh.
love that transition right there. So we're in a beautiful mix. It's so full. Again, it looks so effortless, which is why I feel that something big is coming. Um, but then he transitioned back into that really warm, gorgeous tone just for just for a tiny bit before popping back up. Um, I love, I love, love, love when artists give audiences an opportunity to participate in any sort of concert, any sort of show, and just here allowing people to sing and just enjoy the music. I think is so beautiful. I'm gonna rewind this because I just don't know if I'm gonna find this again. Um, oh my gosh, he's got so much more bass than I realized. And then here we got a slightly less forward mix. And so it was just so full and rich and just, oh, it was so good. Um, okay, here we go. And the improv. Yeah. 
I just want to listen to this last section again. <sighs> if you've seen any of my videos before, you know how much I love to see that pillowy tongue in the mouth, and he is no exception. It's just so relaxed, no tension in sight. I can tell how well he utilizes his breath pressure. There are moments, obviously, where we get these warm, sultry, gorgeous, kind of reserved sounds, but when he is really belting and mixing higher up, it is just all air and it is so well controlled. I don't feel like anything is, you know, about to flip over or anything like that. It's just, it's great. Um, here we go. Let me, let's try here. Let me watch that again. I have, I think I've talked about this before. Sometimes, I know I have with, with the singers I coach. You can pull your tongue out um, even past your lip just a little bit so that you, it's a great way of training your tongue to not depress the larynx for the root of the tongue to not kind of curl and pull. And I think that's what he's doing right here. But of course, you know, when you're watching videos from years ago, you never know with image quality, so we're gonna watch again. going back and forth I'm gonna say between these two voices obviously it still sounds unified it still sounds like one voice like his voice but adding those gorgeous colors on the bottom I it's just such a great choice
Amiga, solo Solo tú I know I thought it earlier. I don't know if I mentioned it. I love his pure vowels, especially on ooh sounds. So we got a gorgeous example of that at the end, but oftentimes a lot of singers will open those oohs just a little bit more. Sometimes to keep um, to keep the note in a particular part in their range, but also sometimes just to hear better. And so I just love how pure and delicate that ooh sound was. Um, I, I know I have a lot more of his work to explore. I genuinely believe he probably does some even more extreme things because everything just sounded so easy, so easy. I mean, obviously we were seeing the work he was doing, but it just sounded effortless and so natural. And I loved that. I loved the improvisation. Um, there were just so many things I loved. Um, the, again, the audience interaction and participation, the whole song, it, it's just, it's a vibe. You know, you get some of that great, I don't know, was this 90s? Um, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. But um, just kind of that more mm, romantic sound in any kind of ballad. I love that. Um, the other thing, the last thing, his sound, his tone is just such a great combination of so many different genres. I could hear him sing so many styles. I feel like, yes, that sort of mainstream pop rock ballad sound was very prominent, but you could just hear inklings of so many other styles, which again, excites me as far as digging more into his music because I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna find. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me. And hopefully I will see you next time.